Welcome back to the channel guys. As we anticipated yesterday, we did say we we're going to see some sort of reaction from the daily 20 EMA. So that made sense. But the thing is, we didn't even manage to touch it. We were just feeling it and I left you off with that. So although we didn't touch it, we're still feeling it and we did find some sort of support in and around that area. But again, even with today's candle, when it first opened, it dumped and still did not manage to actually hit the 20. But we've come up and we're trying to hit the 55. So it makes sense. Now we're at the 55 to get some sort of reaction from here. Just like we bounced off this support, we should bounce off this resistance. This should be resistance. We broke above it, then closed below it. And all you're doing now is hitting it as resistance to come back lower to test this support again. But it's weaker now because you had this initial bounce. So it makes sense to say that, yeah, if you come down to it and you're closing below that wick, we're going to see that further downside back to this M patterns neckline and potentially form that M pattern which we were talking about on the channel yesterday. Go check out that video if you haven't already. Please smash the like button. We haven't hit uh, 100 likes yet since coming back from holiday on the Bitcoin updates. So it'd be really appreciated if we can hit 100 likes as well as trying to hit 3.3K as soon as possible. So thank you for, uh, yeah, for, for supporting the channel. Leave a comment down below. We're also not getting enough comments. And this is what drags up the Bitcoin video in the search results when people just type in oh you know bitcoin's news today or bitcoin what ta whatever they type in on, on youtube but um that's that's looking at the the daily time frame we can't really say much else again if you haven't watched the videos that i've been posting over the last few days please go and watch those bitcoin updates they're so important we've been talking about this golden pocket here this gold box and this is the level that at all costs we want to stay above uh, if we want to see uh, yeah further movement to the upside towards 25 to 27k and we could actually go even higher but we know that uh, a correction is needed when we want to get to in around 25 to 27k that could come now of course how would we know well, of course, if we just lose this 20, which we just said, that's going to signal that we should actually see lower lows. Because right now you ran into the 55 here, you lost the 20. When you lost the 20 there, the bears were in power. I've talked about uh, multiple occasions like here. One, two, three, four, five. There were five separate occasions, which I spoke about in a lot of detail over the last two days. So go check out the Bitcoin videos over the last two days if you want to know more exactly about that. But yeah, these are five times where the bears actually were in power and still did not manage to make lower lows. So if the bears were in power and bearish means downtrend and downtrend means lower lows and lower highs and the bears were in power, then how come they weren't able to put lower lows and lower highs? Because they're not really in power, even though they stepped in like here, 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 and over here, they didn't manage to maintain this, basically. There wasn't enough, yeah, momentum with them. So the bulls just stepped in, st uh, stepped in, sorry, and was just like, no, we're stepping in, we're not letting the bears take over. And that's shown by, of course, when we came down here, you didn't break this low when, when we got rejected here, closed back under this golden pocket, you still didn't make a lower low, so that's twice. Here, you broke under the you broke above the 20 which is bullish back under bearish signaling that we should make a lower low and you didn't you couldn't even break below this higher low so that's the low i'm always focused on this higher low over here so the the level we don't really want to lose at all is 18.6k as long as you're above this we remain bullish even though we're running into resistance right now you, ju you just have to basically because this is a key resistance you're trying to find support and that's why we're getting this reaction now we still haven't touched the 20 so you, even though we're coming up to the 55 we should expect a reaction from here because it is resistance so i'm expecting it to come back down maybe we do actually now test the 20 and that breaks us above the 55 that would be amazing to see but of course losing it and closing below it that's going to eventually uh, signal that we're going to come uh, back down to this low and this golden box has it was a uh, uh, basically the the midpoint out of this push over here you see this push this was the retracement this was the golden pocket here so what should have happened in this area is we should have continued lower but we failed to on this occasion and on this occasion twice where we actually got above the golden pocket and uh, basically meant that we're bullish we should go up to in and around 25 to 27k once we broke above this golden box that's what it signals but then you lost the box you lost the support meaning that's bearish you're no longer going up here so that means we should go down and lose that low. Did that happen? No, you got back above this box and that signals that we should go to 25 to 27K, but we lost the support. So that 
invalidates these targets. That means these targets up here are not going to happen. And now we should lose this low and this low. That's what this fake out and the, the, the reclaim of the 20 EMAS resistance means. And you couldn't close below that low, let alone that low. So that's extremely bullish. The fact that you broke above it, confirmed their support, ran into a key resistance. And I told you guys, this is just before I went on holiday. This is a vital resistance. I just left you on Twitter. Make sure you're following my Twitter. Not enough of you are on my Twitter. We only have 1,000 followers and there's 3,000 of you here. So only a third of you are on my Twitter. It's Louis underscore crypto. That is also where my education is available if you want to private message me over there. It's the second link down below to my Twitter. And yeah, that's where I post daily updates about the charts once I've completed the videos. If there's anything else to say, I'm going to post on Twitter. And um, yeah, so basically what I said is that this is the only thing that the bears can truly say right now. If it's if the chart is truly bearish, which it should be because this is the 55 EMA. I'm gonna show you in the past where we've used it as resistance right there, over there, the orange line, and then you can see the, the cascade afterwards. So over here, we should expect some, the same, right, to cascade like this. That's what all the bears are saying. However, sorry, from here, sorry. However, I said the only way the bears are right is if we actually start coming down and lose that 18.6K. If you don't lose that 18.6K, this, this, this scenario that they're all talking about with low targets is, is absolute nonsense. So that scenario where we're going to 14K, 13K, it's all nonsense at the moment. It's all absolute nonsense. You can be prepared for it, right? It can potentially happen. You can be prepared for it, but it's not happening now. There's no signs at the moment that it's going to happen because the only signs that that scenario where we lose this low is going to happen is once you lose 18.6K. So if this scenario where we go down happens at 18.6K and we're nowhere near 18.6K, why you keep saying it's going to happen. It's not going to happen unless you lose 18.6k. So instead of just constantly being bearish guys, just wait to see. And I've told you this already. When Quant hit the, the 55 weekly on, on oh yeah, the 55 EMA on the weekly time frame, I said take some profits. So look about and that was about yeah around the 15th, 16th of June, July, sorry, July. So and Bitcoin did go up a little bit more. And yeah, that's why I said on Quant, move over some money into other coins that have moved. I gave you the example of Bitcoin. And yeah, from the 15th it was, I think. Oh no, it was the 18th, from the 18th. Bitcoin went up a further 19% and is still up 12% since then. So if you took that example, uh, yeah, basically. So yeah, this is where the bears should have stepped in. Did we close below that? No. You actually held that previous golden pocket as support. That is extremely bullish, guys. That means you've confirmed this reversal wave. You might be confused about what I'm saying. Here's the FIPS from this high to this low. I drag it across. You can see we should have never closed below. Uh, sorry, we should have never closed above the 0618 right there. That created the reverse wave, failed, failed over here. Finally went above, hit the 55, meaning that we should actually go lower than the wick. The bears couldn't take power because you found spawn the golden pocket, confirming the reversal wave. You broke the one fib level, amazing. Yes, you closed below, but you're trying to find support on the 20 EMA. If we can now find support on the 20 EMA, whether that's we come back down tomorrow and then go for it, or whether we're going for it today, we just need to hold this 20. At the moment, you haven't exactly touched it yet, but it doesn't mean we haven't felt it, and it doesn't mean we haven't found support. We have found support, that's why we're getting this reversal. But this is also a resistance, so we need to be okay, uh, wary that if we're closing below this today, this 23.5k 55 EMA resistance, then of course expect a further dump back to the 20. And we need to see if that holds the next daily candle close. So everything is day by day here, because this is the daily time frame. So yeah, it's all candle by candle on this time frame. But yeah, equally if we're closing above this, then yeah, we're going to continue to our tech we'll target the 16818, anywhere between the 1.272 to the 1618. So that's why we're saying 25 to 27k. So yeah, that's why if you want to go to this target, all you need to do is stay above the 618. And that's what you've done from this 55, when from the 55, you were meant to make lower lows, lower lows below 17.6K. But the bears couldn't because you could confirm this reverse wave. And by confirming this reverse wave, you're confirming your technical target, which is anywhere between the 1.272 and the 1.618, as long as you're above 20.2K. 
okay that's why i kept on telling you guys in the videos in the last few days this is the level that you want to make a note of 20.2k and 18.6k and then yeah we should continue even after meeting the 1618 we're going to have this big dip and again you just need to hold 20.2k and then we should continue up to these higher targets up here these two targets but that's it for today if you enjoyed it please like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one peace